Welcome back everybody. All right, so let's take a quick look at why the variable is in the function and why it is not outside the function, okay? So if we go ahead and we, we just copy or cut this out and paste it here, and you can see that if we type in 23 or even, you know, anything like awesome like this, it doesn't work. And you're thinking, well, well why is that? Well, first of all, um, there's this idea of something called scope, okay? And it has to do with these brackets here. And I'm just going to return that on this in, uh, just like that so we can see this a little bit better. So what it is is that if we were to have, let's say, another function here, okay? If I just type in function, you know, fun, okay? And I type in, you know, uh, another thing here. All of these variables here um, can be used in both of these functions. And for the most part, there would be what we call quote unquote global variables, meaning that you can see each of these variables within these functions here. Okay? So variable number, you can use it here, you can use it here, you can use it anywhere. When you put it inside a curly bracket at any given time, it doesn't matter if it's a function or another kind of uh, computer. Uh, programming uh, tool that we need, for example, like a for loop, if we put a variable inside there, that means you can't see it out there. So change text variable is not able to see this outside here. Now, the reason why it works in here and the reason why it doesn't work out here is because this document.getElementID can only be used in a function. Okay, and that's why it doesn't really work because it doesn't, JavaScript doesn't necessarily see that as a viable command outside the functions. So remember, the functions is where most of your computer programming is going to be. Okay, and scope is really, really important because um, at least when you're typing code like this, what ends up happening is that you have different levels of scope. Now, if you take in any one of my other courses, for example, the non-program courses, uh, for example, how to make apps without programming, how to make games without programming, they simplify this down quite a bit. And this is a, a topic that beginner programmers tend to really struggle with, uh, is where you can see variables and where you can't see variables. So again, if it's outside the function, you can see them within every function. But if it's inside the function, you can only see that within functions here. Now, right now, there's only two levels. There's a global, which is these up here, and a local, which is in the function. And again, there could be more. So it's better to think of these as just these two, uh, two kinds of variables at this point in time. All right, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.